Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of vestibulo cochlear nerve. Vestibulo cochlear nerve is eighth cranial nerve. So here, first of all, we we'll make a diagram. Here is position of. Here you can see this is. This is sacrum. This is zootacum. This is yes. Sacral duct. So I say. This is posterior. Sorry, this is anterior semicircular canal. This is anterior semicircular. This is posterior semicircular canal. This is anterior semicircular canal, and here is lateral semicircular canal. This is lateral semicircular canal. This is your trick. And in utricle and sanctum, here, here is macula. This is macula. And here, ancillary crest is present. This is crista. These are crista and pulley. Crista and pulleys. And here is ductus radians. This is ductus radians. And this is cochlear duct. This is cochlear duct. In cochlear duct, here is organ of the cartilage. This is position of the organ of the cartilage, which is present in the cochlear duct. If you cut a section of this, you can see here, this is cone-like modulus. In modulus, here, the foramen is present. And here is position of Cochlear ganglion. This is cochlear ganglion. And another thing, here is position of bottom of this is bottom of internal acoustic meatus. Internal acoustic meatus. And this is divided into two parts by crest. This is crest. This is superior, this is inferior. This superior vestibular area is here. Inferior vestibular area. This is superior and this is inferior. Vestibular area. Here is opening of the Facial canal.
is foramen tectus. This is tractus spiralis foramen. And here is one another foramen. This is foramen cingulea. This foramen cingulea. And if you see another diagram here, after this, this is transverse section of this is transverse section of palms. This is transverse section of the palms. At inferior level, this is. This is inferior cerebral pedicle. Here, like this is inferior cerebellar pedicle. If you see, here is dorsal cochlear nucleus, here is ventral cochlear nucleus. This is dorsal cochlear nucleus. This is ventral cochlear nucleus. And here is position of vestibular nuclei. These are vestibular nuclei. There are four vestibular nuclei. These are four vestibular nuclei. Here, superior, inferior, medial, and lateral. There are superior, inferior, medial, and lateral vestibular nuclei. Ganglion of the vestibular is present in this internal plastic meatus. So here is portion of the ganglion. This is bipolar ganglion. And here you, you can see the cochlear ganglion is present here. In the modulus, if you cut a section here, this is modulus around which the cochlear ducts arrange. And here is cochlear duct. And here is portion of spiral lamina and basilar membrane. This is this is cochlear duct. This is cochlear duct. And here organ of cartilage is present. This, in this area, here organ of cartilage is present here. Organ of cartilage is present. So here is portion of this nuclei, vestibular nuclei, and this is vestibular ganglion. Vestibular ganglion is also known as scarpa ganglion. Scarpa's ganglion. If you see this thing in lateral view, here is midbrain. This is pons, this is medulla oblongata, midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata. Nuclei are present here. This is position of the nuclei, vestibular and cochlear nuclei. And this is junction of, here is junction of pons and medulla. This is pons and the medulla. At the Panto medullary junction, panto medullary angle, this nerve arises. And component of this nerve is it has a special somatic afferent fiber. We are sensory fiber and proprioceptive fibers. A special somatic afferent. And also some fibers. So special somatic fibers arise from Dorsal ventral cochlear nuclei, uh, dorsal ventral cochlear nuclei, and vestibular nuclei. We have special somatic afferent, and some fibers, 
some fibers are arise from the superior olivary nucleus superior olivary and accessory olivary nucleus the superior olivary nucleus extend from a lower part of the pons to upper part of the medulla so here like this is superior olivary nucleus the superior olivary nucleus and also accessory olivary nucleus accessory olivary nucleus so both nuclei gives efferent fibers so efferent fibers are also coming so very few number of efferent fibers here if you see the number of the fibers here the, of the vestibular nuclei are vestibular fibers vestibular fibers are around around 19000 and cochlear fibers around 2 23,500 and there are very few fibers here are different fibers so these nerve so in this diagram you see this is nerve vestibular cochlear nerve it is point, lateral in position to here is position the abduction nuclei and this is facial nerve So it is lateral to the facial nerve. This is facial nerve, and this is vestibular cochlear nerve. This is lateral in position. And from here, you can see this vestibular cochlear nerve. Here passes to this. Here is ganglion. This is vestibular ganglion, and here is cochlear part. Here, this is cochlear. Its ganglion passes. Its nerve passes through this, and its ganglion lies here. So this is ganglion. This is cochlear ganglion. That means here is if this position is here, then it lies. In the modulus and the vestibular ganglia or scapula ganglia lies in the internal plastic meatus, and this ganglia, cochlear ganglia, lies in modulus. So from here, fibers go into the modulus. This is modulus, and here the foramen is known as tractus spinalis foramen. It passes through tractus spinalis foramen, and Here you can see, so fibers from these nerve fibers from these. This is cochlear duct here. This is cochlear duct, and here and here you can see the hair cells. The here are inner hair cells. This is outer hair cells. If you enlarge this, like this, here lies inner hair cells. These are inner hair cells and outer hair cells. So inner hair cells. Are connected with this inner hair cell. One inner hair cell connected with the about ten ganglion cells, and outer hair cell. If you see outer hair cell, so one ganglion cell is one ganglion cell peripheral process that is attached with the ten outer hair cells. So one peripheral process of one ganglion cell is attached to ten. Outer hair cell and inner hair cell. One inner cell, hair cell. One inner hair cell is attached about ten cochlear cells. So ten nerve fibers of the cochlear cells. So here, it, one inner hair cell attached with the ten and ten nerve fiber attached to. Sorry, one one nerve fiber attached to. Ten outer hair cells. So one nerve fiber 
one nerve fiber attached to ten outer cell and one cell of the inner hair cell attached to ten nerve fibers. So from here this nerve goes like this with the ganglion. This is ganglion, this is ganglion. From here that goes to the internal casting matrix from this opening. And here you can see this is macula. This is macula. In the cycle, this fibers goes through the inferior vestibular area. It goes through the inferior vestibular area. And this is to be the vestibular area, and here the fibers from the Eutrichin, macula of the eutrichin goes into this, and fibers also ampullary crista or crista ampullaires from the anterior and lateral semicircular canal goes into the superior vestibular area. And a very important thing is this is posterior semicircular canal. Here, this is crista ampullaris. From crista ampullaris of the superior, uh, posterior semicircular canal, fibers goes through this opening. This is foramina singular. This is foramina singular. Through it, it passes into the ganglia. So, this is the vestibulocochlear nerve connection.